दाही वड़ा हाय हेलो वनकम वेलकम टू द सुपर पिज़्ज़ा आई एम कांची जयकुमार द लवली सेशन ऑफ दाही वड़ा और इट्स गोइंग टू बी द वड़ा इनटू द योगर्ट इट्स रियली यमी एंड वेरी नाइस सो लेट्स ट्राई दिस लवली रिसाइट नाउ सो हियर फॉर दिस दाही वड़ा फर्स्ट आई हैड टू सोक द उरद दाल एंड देन इट इट शुड बी एट लीस्ट 1 आवर 2 आवर्स एंड देन आई हैव पुट इट इन द बेड ग्राइंडर एंड ग्राउंड इट इनटू अ फाइन एंड नाइस paste so now here we have the dough with us so look at this batter actually to see a detailed recipe for this vada you can just click the information tab or the description below you will get this uh, already we have posted a video on this so you can look into the details so here we have the batter ready now and uh, now let's see how to make it more nice and softer so that's what we are going to see here to this batter i am adding 1 tablespoon of rice flour this is dry rice flour so just like that we are adding this and then the pepper pepper depends upon the taste you want some more you can add or it, it, a lesser also is fine so it depends on your taste and likes now what we are going to do is we already added salt while it was getting ground in the grinder so just i'm beating the batter nicely with my hand so that we have a good air flow air is just been put into the batter that's why we are just giving it a nice beat like how we do the whipping and all for the creams we are doing the same procedure here but we are doing it with the hand and we are be giving it a nice beat so that it becomes fluffy so the batter is becoming fluffy and nice you will be able to feel the texture like well, when you started beating it it would have been different and now it will be more, little more fluffy and nice So I had to beat it nicely for at least three to five minutes so that you get this kind of a fluffy texture. So this is very important for the vadas to be nice, soft inside and crispy outside. So here, heat some cooking oil. And what we're going to do is, before doing this one, what we'll have to do is always soak your fingers in nice cold water, and then take the batter. so that the batter will not stick to your hand and you will be able to get the required shape so that's why we soak our fingers in the cold water now see i am able to make a round ball with that just press it in in the center and drop it in the oil if you soak your hands it will be very easy to leave your hands also so that's why we are soaking it see they'll just flow out from your hands So that's how we are going to put all the vadas. Now here it's getting done. Just flip them to the other side, and I love them to get cooked on the other side also. Can you see we are getting a nice golden brown color? They have increased in size also, and they are looking really fluffy. Meanwhile, let's do the curd. So first take the curd and beat it nicely in such a way that there are no lumps there should not be any like the water and curd should not be separate it should be into a smooth paste like texture so that will give a nice taste to the vada and this uh, dahi vada will may add more flavor then so i am beating it in such a way that there are no lumps meanwhile our vadas are ready so just strain the oil and remove them Our lovely vadas are ready. Press this bell icon and never miss an update from us. Let's heat the water. This is going to be another technique to have the soft and crispy thigh vadas. So here, into this boiling water, we are going to drop the vadas now. So what's going to happen is the vada will become more softer. so that they can absorb the yogurt or dahi what we are going to add to them very quickly so that will enable the quick process of dahi vada and also it will be very tasty like so that the whole vada would have absorbed the dahi otherwise you will have the dahi or yogurt on the surface of the vada so to have the, the dahi going inside this vada we need to soak it in this hot water and then remove it so once they are really boiled well you can see the 
oil oozing out from the vadas. So now you can remove them slowly, drain the water and remove it. You can straight away put them into the serving dish. So here we have the dahi ready. Add some salt according to the taste. This is regular normal curd what we are using at home. A thick curd. Now add this curd on top of the vadas. Sprinkle some chilli powder. This is just to enhance the flavour and colour. Again garnish it with some pomegranate and coriander leaves. So dear friends, hope you enjoyed this session of doing this lovely dahi vada or the yogurt vada. And it's really yummy and did you know the small tips which we were going through all through the video. So do follow these steps and do a lovely dahi vada. Those are the pizza is all about enhancing your taste buds. If you like this video, press like. Subscribe to those at Visa and do not forget to share this video with your friends and relatives. Thank you and bye bye.